Welcome into the Beckley Raleigh County Convention Center. We'll be right back after this. There, I'm Jake, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's new Grilled Spicy Deluxe is that grilled chicken that we all know and love with the grilled marks. It's super juicy. The heat, the cheese, the multi-grain brioche bun, the flavor is just out of this world. Hey, I'm Amber, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Deluxe is the chicken. This is not your traditional spicy chicken sandwich. You get the grilled flavor, seasoning, spices, married all together to this perfect sandwich. It's literally like fireworks in your mouth. Northside, where everybody rides. Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC, Rad 19 in Summersville on Northside Drive. Brand new professional grade GMCs for less, including ready for work heavy duties. Chevy Silverados, Equinox, and more at Northside. A new generation of luxury is here. Experience the new Buick at Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC, Rad 19 in Summersville. Browse our enormous inventory now at northsidewv.net. FCA has incredible impact on coaches, the teams, the, the players, and the community as well. It's changed our lives. It's changed mine as a husband, as a father, and as a coach. It, it does make an impact on our lives. FCA has become a full circle in our lives. People from all different kinds of backgrounds. If all we're going to be is a, a coach that happens to be a Christian, I think it's more important to be a Christian that happens to be a coach. Little General Stores knows West Virginia, but what some may not know is what LG is doing in your communities. And I'm here to tell you how Little General, with the strength of their 100 plus stores, is helping to enrich lives and empower families in West Virginia. Like the Norma May Huggins Cancer Research Endowment Fund, which is fighting to cure cancer every day right here in West Virginia. Locally owned and operated, LG has always been there and always will be. Little General Stores, committed to West Virginians. Boom! Welcome inside Beckley Raleigh County Convention Center for a season opener, very much like the Daytona 500. Why not throw the best game out there to start things off? Woodrow Wilson Flying Eagles, the Shady Spring Tigers, in what looks like to be an intriguing matchup of two Raleigh County rivals here tonight with Woodrow trying to get one back against the Tigers this evening. Zach Hilton here with you in Beckley along with my two-time NAIA National Coach of the Year, Bob Bowen, my partner tonight. And coach, last year, the first time Shady beat Woodrow Wilson in 43 tries, I think there's a little bit of venom down on that far end of the court. Oh, I think so. I think Woodrow Wilson's fired up about the game. Shady's always fired up to play Woodrow. Uh, both teams are ranked very high in their respected divisions, and it should be a great game, Zach. Bob Dylan once said, for the loser now will be later to win for the times they are a change in. Let's see if Shady Spring can keep that up here against their cross county rival. It'll be Shady in blue tonight with Chapman, Chapman, Jordan, Holstein, and Duncan, the starting five. Woodrow Wilson in the home whites will follow with Keenan Cook, Dwayne Richardson, Maddox McMillan, Jace Colucci, and Bill Ben Gillum. And no tip-off this year with uh, oh. COVID, so it'll be Shady Spring basketball to start off. Here we go. Bringing it up is Todd Duncan. Nice little drive inside, but kicking it back out. Three ball in route. That one a tad short by Duncan. But a nice pull. Here come the Tigers with the first offensive rebound. That one partially blocked. Nice feed inside and Chapman for two. Braden Chapman always around the loose balls. Good start for the Shady Tigers. Both teams in their traditional man-to-man. -man. Both teams will pick up full court, and you will see some run and jump. Dwayne will run the point. They're looking in for Chat or Gillum first play, and it's knocked away. Tigers come away with it with a 2-0 advantage. I don't know if that was an alley-oop or just a bad pass as he's trying to hit Sam Jordan inside. Running out with it is the Woodrow Wilson Eagles. Keen. And quick, too, right there. Oh, Keenan Cook. Great body control, hung in there, ties it up. Very athletic start. Both teams just looking to get out and run here early. On the wing attack. Under seven to go. We're just underway here in Beckley. Duncan. Oh, hey, he Duncan. can shoot it from the parking lot, Todd Duncan. He doesn't even need a wedge there. The state golf 
State winner of the year, and another steal in the backcourt, trying to get it into Gillum with Chapman with another turnover. He finds his brother uh, left wing. Cole Chapman, cool Cole Chapman with the three, gives Shady the early 8-2 lead. Shady Spring out to an early advantage here. Yeah. We'll see how the Flying Eagles answer here. Three ball. That time a little strong by Colucci. And another pull down by Chapman. NBA range right there, a tad short. But the putback will draw a foul. Yeah, Todd Duncan has the green light to shoot it from deep. And he's a deep range shooter. And right now, after talking with Coach Olsen, as we look at the replay, Duncan... Always about six feet behind that three, knocking it down. Coach Olson's plan was to try to pressure Beckley in the backcourt and force turnovers. And then once it gets into the half-court game, you know, they really want to collapse on Big Ben and keep the ball out of his hands. And, and for Woodrow, Coach Kidd said the big thing for them is control the glass. And they're going to have to hit some shots. And they're really strong inside. They're young on the perimeter. But... If Shady collapses in, they're going to have to make some outside shots. Empty their first two free throws there by Manns. Beckley chasing six here. First half of the first quarter. Got a mismatch inside. Cole Chapman guarding Ben Gillum. Good work out on the perimeter and a take here. Nice Richardson. move, Dwayne Richardson. Dwayne with a nice move there. Nice little pull-off, sweet kiss off the glass. Average 2.8 last year, working on that average here early, 8-4. Tigers with an early advantage as Cole Chapman works on the perimeter in the corner to his brother. That one a little strong, and Gillum inside with the board. Woodrow's going to run with it. A better yeah. pass there would have had Colucci with a look yeah. in the baseline, but Shady's defense is creating a little havoc here early. It is, and if you saw Woodrow on that ball pick by Cole Chapman, they doubled it. So look for when Cole Chapman comes off the ball pick, Woodrow to double it and try to get it out of his hands. Let's see, here comes the ball pick. Let's see how Woodrow plays it. There's a ball pick, and it was a hard hedge. The ball in the corner from Jordan a little strong. And Holstein had the rebound and had it ripped out of his hands by Cook, who will bring it up for the Flying Eagles. Under five to go, first quarter. Three ball, Colucci. Hey, Colucci. That's a smooth shot. Oh, feet set. And on the other end, Keenan Cook. He was only about 5'11 last year, up to 6'4 this year, going in there grabbing the rebound. Chapman looking to end this 5 0 run. It's a too strong shot there. And rebound pulled down by Maddox McMillan. Beckley on a run here, looking to retake the lead. That three ball won't do it as it's a tad short. Chapman has the ball knocked out of his hands after the rebound. And they'll, they'll reverse the call. They're going to say it's staying with Beckley. Yeah, I thought it was. I, I thought that's the right call. Look at it here. The initial signal was for Shady. Uh, Colucci with that smooth jumper. Now, Colucci's made some shots in here. He played for West Side last year. Uh, had a good, strong game here in the, I want to say the armory, but the convention center. Got to, got to change with the times. Multi-sport athlete, which we'll allude to a little later, as Keenan Cook handles right in front of us. McMillan will reverse it. 8-7, a tight one here early. We're about halfway through the first quarter in Beckley. High post to McMillan, 15-footer a little strong. And nice job inside by Manns to out-rebound Gillum there. Tigers on the attack up one. Cross-court pass to Chapman. Regroups there and gets it back into the hands of Duncan. Now with three ball from Mans, a little off the mark. Gillum with the pull there. Yeah, Beckley's hedging that ball pick really strong. Uh, Shady may be able to go back to Holstein on that if they have the side cleared like they did that time. Both teams a little, maybe a little rusty, but they're using their athleticism here over to fight through some of this. It's been a year. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, these kids haven't been in a year. real game in over a year. I think it's been a pretty clean first quarter considering the time off. It's going to be hard making shots, you know, in the convention center with no background. They're used to practicing with a background. But both teams, you know, playing with a lot of effort here early. And the take there wow. by Chapman. Too strong with it. That one will be chased down by Beckley. Good hustle there by McMillan. 
who finds Colucci. Up top to Cook, who's open for three and rattles that one home, and Beckley's back on top, 10 to eight. Yeah, Keenan Cook with a nice three-pointer. And right there, answer that one, Cameron Manns. Oh, Cameron Manns has a nice stroke on him. Back and forth action. I think these shooters are trying to, are finally figuring out how to shoot in the Army here after the long layoff. Another one from Colucci. That one a tad short. Good pull by Chapman. Weaves through traffic into the front court, pulls up 15 footer, gets the roll. Nice touch by the lefty. Nice pull up, nice touch. Beckley's hit two threes so far in the early going. They only hit one three in the scrimmage against St. Albans. So looks like Beckley's got the rust off. Trying to get into Gillum, and Gillum gets harassed there. Yeah, who's the foul? They get the foul on there. Okay, they got it on Braden Chapman. They really had Gillum corralled in there. Uh, you know, right there, instead of jumping and trying to smack the ball, Chapman just needs to hold his ground and stay behind it and try to get a charge there. KK Slay, a transfer from North Carolina with some Beckley ties into the ball game for the first time for the Eagles. Two-minute morning and a reach-in oh. foul. Oh, that's two on Braden Chapman. I thought that one was really touchy, just reaching around the bottom. Uh, we went for about seven minutes. There were no fouls called. And now yeah. a couple of back-to-back. Yeah. So. And that's two fouls on loose balls away from the ball. But I, I think a lot of high school officials let them kill the guy in the post. And, you know, they called those two. And now it looks like it's really rough in there. there <laughs> and is. none that time. You know, I thought Big Ben. Yeah. Chapman, you know, that Big Ben's giving him a signal like they had a hold of his arm. So called two tight ones on Chapman. And then on that one. Looked like Ben was harassed pretty good, no call, so I don't know. Under two to go here in the first. Tigers with a three-point advantage. Finger roll layup by Cole off the mark. It ends up back in the hands of Todd Duncan, who now runs the point with Braden on the bench. 95 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Chapman, deep three, rattles away. And Gillum is just so strong inside, but it's stolen back by the Tigers, and bodies collide a walk on Gillum. Ben yeah. Gillum, I don't know. He's just not having his day here in the first yeah, quarter. Yeah, great hustle play by Gillum, diving on the floor. Uh, good hustle play. Tigers with the lead and the ball. Duncan will dribble back up top. Chapman will reset. We'll see how long Brayton sits that, with those two fouls. Yeah, there's the ball pick. and A good drive. Uh, Found the open man. A little strong on that one was Amar Maxwell, who checked in moments ago. One minute to go here, first quarter. Woodrow chasing three. Slay wants three. That one a tad short. Rebound tipped in the hands. The Tigers corral it. Three-point Tiger advantage. Here comes Duncan into the front court. They're going to go into the post now with Holstein. Now reverse back, and Duncan for D. That is money. Yeah, he could be one of the best deep shooters in the state, and that was from about 27 feet. Duncan, nothing but nets. Todd Duncan walks in the gym, and he's in range. Oh, he really is. Six-point advantage, last possession of the first is Gillum. Kicks to Richardson. Richardson step back two. Got yeah, it. He's had a solid first quarter. Nice mid-range. Uh, well, really, really looks like a much improved player this year. Tigers up four. Looks like they'll hold for the last shot of the first. As Duncan across the half court, he's in range, gives up to Cole. Now with five, they set the play. Three ball in route. A little short that time, and that'll end the first. 16-10 our score. Very fast-paced, very entertaining right here from the Raleigh County Convention Center on video production. Northside, where everybody rides. Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC, Route 19 in Summersville on Northside Drive. Brand new professional grade GMCs for less, including ready for work heavy duties. Chevy Silverados, Equinox, and more at Northside. A new generation of luxury is here. Experience the new Buick at Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC, Route 19 in Summersville. Browse our enormous inventory now at northsidewv.net. Little General Stores knows West Virginia, but what some may not know is what LG is doing 
in your communities. And I'm here to tell you how Little General, with the strength of their 100 plus stores, is helping to enrich lives and empower families in West Virginia. Like the Nora May Huggins Cancer Research Endowment Fund, which is fighting to cure cancer every day right here in West Virginia. Locally owned and operated, LG has always been there and always will be. Little General Stores, committed to West Virginians. Boom! He'll go get it from Marison then. 16-12, our score, one quarter in the books. And Shady is up four. Zach Helton and Bob Olin, the coach, along with me. It'll be Beckley basketball to start the second. And really, the first quarter story was Todd Duncan shooting the roof off this gym and Braden Chapman getting in a little foul trouble early. Yeah, and then starting the second quarter with a four-point lead, he's giving Braden Chapman a break. And you know, Braden Chapman is one of the leading scorers, leading returning scorers in the area. Beckley into the post to McMillan. Back up to Chapman, who spots up for three. That one halfway down and out. And a rebound yeah. cleared by the Tigers and Duncan. Yeah, Ben Gillum stepping out, showing his range this year. Todd trying to go in amongst the trees. Has it knocked out of his hands. It will stay with the Tigers. Well, Beckley's got good size out in the court right now. Gillum is 6'4". Keenan Cook is 6'4". And there they were, protecting the basket. Duncan wasn't afraid in, to go in between either one of them as he handles up top with a four-point lead. Beckley the man-to-man, -man, as you alluded to earlier. A little push from behind there. That's an easy call way out on the perimeter. And Slay will pick up his first. Well, the good thing about this game, there's only been four fouls called so far. Rough part is two of them were against one of the best players in the gymnasium, Braden Chapman. But the officials letting them play. Amar Maxwell with good minutes there, and they bring Brayton back in. 7.20 to go here, second quarter. Tigers with a 16-12 advantage. There, okay, they oh. tried to go through a good, great job by Beckley. And if you saw that, they hedged the pick really hard, but Slay came over to give the help on the perimeter. So now Shady will counteract that by leaving a three-point shooter on the same side as Slay and trying to reverse the ball there. But great defense by Beckley there. Holstein, he's, he's hard to get get away from. Oh, now we're knocked around. Gillum will come up with it. He'll slow down as he knows he was outnumbered. Beckley chasing four, though. Seven-minute mark here, second quarter. That one blocked by Holstein. Nice play by him. And running with it up ahead is Duncan to the rack. Can't get it to go, but Holstein's there. His first shot attempt wouldn't go. And Gillum, good hustle there, getting down and cleaning that one up. That was a sure two for the Tigers. Their game's got a good pace to it right now. Both teams getting up and down the floor. Uh, Dwayne Richardson, again, he's had a really good first 10 minutes of this basketball game. They're working around the perimeter, back over to Richardson on the wing. Oh, Beckley with a great nice set, pick. double pick. And Slade not able to knock it down. That's a good look for Slade. Yeah, his brother, his dad, Brian, played for me. Boy, he, he knocked him down from all over the gymnasium. Chapman over to Duncan. Duncan trying to leave a defender behind. Can't do it. And he'll give it back to Braden, who resets the offense. Six-minute mark here, second quarter. Tigers still on four. Braden switches hands into the paint. Great pass. Up top, extra pass to Cole. A little off the mark there. Rebound tipped around, still loose inside. Somehow, Braden comes back oh, up with it. Great. Just yeah, yeah, great play by Holstein, keeping the ball alive, and Braden Chapman there, always in the right place at the right time. Just hang around the rim, something good is about to happen. Tigers now chasing six, 18-12. Can get three of them back here. That one off the back of the iron, off the hand of McMillan. Quickly in the front court come the Tigers. Manns with a pull up. Cameron Manns, nice jumper. His dad was a great athlete for Woodrow Wilson. The sophomore doing work here early. It's an eight point. Tiger advantage, and that was a cheap one inside as the Tigers are trying to get in Gillum's head here early. Oh, yeah, they just want to keep the ball. In. And there it is, Manns, nice little stop and pop, nothing but net. Oh, I mean, you can see Shady. Shady was going to collapse on Gillum and make Beckley make three-point shots. You can see right now 
Uh, that's their plan. That's what Coach Olson told me he was going to try to do. But he also said he was going to try to press them and create turnovers. But Braden Chapman getting those two quick fouls, probably look at the inbounds play. Yeah, nice Great one. pick, good pass by McMillan. Second Great call by Ron Kidd there. Gillum All-State last year looking to do the same again this year. 20-14, to 14, five minute mark here, second quarter. Nice pull up, a little strong that time was Chapman, but the rebound keeps it alive. Back out to Braden, that one halfway down and out. And clearing it is Colucci. Colucci going to go coast to coast, looking for the baseline. It's covered up. Richardson now looking to get into McMillan. That's covered up as well, so he'll come back up top and reset. Well, Beckley's going to get some open threes. The Shady's going to collapse in there. Ben stepping out behind the three-point line. Good ball movement around the perimeter for the Flying Eagles. As Richardson looking inside to McMillan. McMillan has the size, but Jordan's there being very tenacious defensively. In the meantime, pull up three. Oh, Colucci, nice follow through. Colucci's been big so far. Cuts that shady lead to three. 20 to 17, four and change left here. First half of basketball in Beckley. Here comes another deep three. This time Cameron Manns won't get the roll. Gillum crashing for the Eagles. Quickly in the front court, Richardson. Richardson very smart with the basketball, knows when he doesn't have it. That oh. three by Colucci. Colucci's heating up, and that's oh. bad news for the Tigers. Hey, Colucci's feeling it, really active, light on his feet. He can tell that. He's backpedaling when that ball leaves his hand. Tied up. 20 all our score, 340 and counting. As Braden pulls up, 15-footer, tried to bank it home, almost got it. Nice work inside, put back, Holstein. Oh, Holstein's been battling in there all night. Great put back. Best hair on the court, too. <laughs> Tigers back up by two. Top of the key, Colucci for one more. That one off the mark a little bit. But Gillum strong-arming everybody and one. And that's why Coach Kidd, that was his key to the game, was control the boards, get in there and bang, get some offensive rebounds. And there's Big Ben. When they're fronting Ben, it's hard to keep him off the boards, and he did a great job there creating the contact and getting the and one. Now, Landon Wolf checks in. And I'll tell you what that gives, Beckley, another three-point shooter. He's a really solid three-point shooter. Gillum, too strong with the free throw. Pulled down by Holstein. Ben Gillum will wrap this one up. He's a walking double-double. He's on pace for that tonight as well. Oh, yeah. Brayton up top to his brother Cole in the corner to Jordan. Nice ball movement. Todd Duncan back in, so he's sure. going to rattle another one home. Oh, he shoot. You know, he'll shoot the same percentage eight feet behind the three as he does right behind the three. Under three Great to go. Great deep three-point shooter. Under three to go. Second quarter. Tigers back up by three. McMillan finds a seam on the baseline. He gets nailed yeah, by that's, Holstein, but that's a good foul by Holstein, I think. Yeah, but when Shady is trying to do everything to keep the ball out of the paint, as we see Duncan from, wow, 26 feet, nothing but net. And now with Shady trying to really play a slacking man-to-man -to, -man to keep the ball out of Ben Gillum's hands, they can't give up drives like Maddox McMillan just got. I mean, if you're going to play that far off the shooter, you should be able to contain him in front. Mill McMillan did a great job there of attacking the basket, drawing the hard foul, and getting to the free throw line. Well, Mar Maxwell back in this time for Cole Chapman that fell on Holstein, his first, the fifth for the Tigers. McMillan hits the second of two. 25-23. Yeah, Beckley thought about their pressure, but back to their traditional man-to-man -man defense. Duncan pulls up another one. That one just a tad short. Nice job inside by McMillan. He got the board and he was fouled. McMillan, good quarterback for Woodrow Wilson. Strong inside, nice, solid player. Playing the four for Beckley. Big Ben's the five. Second foul on Jordan, so he's going to come out. Quickly, Cole Chapman back in for him. Yeah, Cole Chapman's been a little quiet tonight. And uh, for Shady still to have a two-point lead with Cole Chapman, yeah, he's not going to stay quiet the whole game. You can just go ahead and count on that. Had 16 points in this matchup last year. Beckley down two. Colucci wants the lead, and he'll get it. All right, it's time for Shady to make an adjustment on Colucci. Now, they can still help with everybody else on the court and dive in on Ben, but whoever's guarding Colucci is going to have to stay with him. That's his fourth three. 
Cole, nifty dribbling into the corner, finding his brother. Back out to Cole comes Braden. Pull up a little short with that one. And running with it after the rebound is Richardson. Richardson going to attack the rim. It's it. Cole kind of back dumped, didn't want to get any further foul trouble, and that's a wise decision here with under two to go first half. Yeah, how many fouls does Cole have? I, I thought, think two. Okay, I thought Braden was the one in foul trouble. A fadeaway from the baseline. Wild yeah, shot there. A, a Probably the worst shot, shot by T Todd tonight. Oh, yeah, and Beckley's up three, ready to say, oh, good move by Richardson. Beckley up five, timeout for Shady. Coach Olsen sees the riding on the wall. He'll take 30 with 96 seconds left here in the first half. A big run here by Woodrow. It's 30 to 25. Got a 30 second timeout. Dwayne Richardson, boy, just heading to the basket full steam. Let's check him out with our great instant replay here. Boy, hesitation, explosion, gets to the basket. Dwayne Richardson, his father, Dwayne, played for me at Mountain State. Tremendous athlete from the Charlotte area. And boy, Dwayne Richardson's really playing well tonight. Little General, great prices, convenient places. One of our great sponsors tonight bringing you this game wherever you may be. We've got halftime coming up. We'll try to gather some stats for you. Man, if the second half is anything like this first half has been, we're going to be in for a treat tonight. 30 to 25, our score. Minute and a half and change left here. It's been back and forth, both teams with some leads. The Tigers now trailing by yeah. five. Well, they need a bucket here, and you know, they may want to go away from the ball pick. I don't know if Cole Chapman wants that ball pick at the top. It could be a good pass by Cole Chapman. Todd passes up on the shot, shovels it back to Cole. Yeah, yeah. They didn't get the look they wanted, and now they'll reset. Cole switching yeah. hands, what a <laughs> shot that was. Richardson got a little excited there, started smacking the floor. You know, you're not going to keep Cole Chapman down. Great move. And he didn't have the ball pick at the top that time. That may be something they want. Nice feed into Gillum. Gillum lost it, though. Bodies on the floor. Hustling is everybody. Tie up. Will, nope. Will they get the timeout or yes. they get the arrow? Beckley got the timeout. Okay. They would have had the arrow regardless. And I think he's doing another 30-second timeout. Yes. Yeah, they'll so keep we'll it at 30. Stay here on 30s. You know, that great hustle play by Gillum. Now, early in the game, he dove on the floor, and they called traveling. And I didn't think he did. Now, that time it looked like he rolled over, and they didn't call it. But great hustle by Gillum, uh, saving a possession for Beckley, 30-27. to 27. It is another big possession before the half. Right here, this take by Chapman. Oh, pushing it. Man. That was almost a shot put, but what a man. tremendous play there. Because oh. that was his only play. Going left, finishing with the right hand. Cole Chapman's really good in traffic. i tell you, Dwayne Richardson has uh, – Played a tremendous game so far. A tremendous first half for Beckley. Stayed under control. That was the first time he got real excited and smacked the floor. And when he was smacking it, Cole Chapman went by him. But uh, he, he's been tremendous. He's been him. He and Colucci have been great for Beckley so far. We've seen some great fundamental basketball here so far. We're knocking on the door. Halftime under a minute to go. Second quarter. Yeah, they, I think it's time for Shady to quit helping off Colucci. Colucci up top to McMillan. I think they're looking for Colucci because he's been the hot hand here in the second quarter. Richardson has Gillum's double teamed inside. 40 to go in the quarter. Got the shooter Wolf on the other side where the help's coming from. Richardson to the block, and that one's swatted away by Good Holstein. Job. The Tigers keep it in play. Good defense by Holstein. Braden runs oh. into a defender and gets the call. Well, that's only the third foul so far of the contest against the Flying Eagles. Now here's the block up his shot. First. Holstein comes across on the help defense. Great block. Great save by Chapman. Off to the races for Shady. Inbounds play to Braden. Braden trying to drive baseline, lost it mm. out of bounds. Yeah, 24 seconds, a three-point game. I thought Shady would go for the final shot of the half there. Guarantee Beckley will go for the last shot here. Dwayne Richardson will bring it up. Cole will provide a little backcourt pressure as he brings it. 15 on the clock here in the first half. Richardson clearing traffic. Gillum now is going to bounce it into McMillan. It goes to work. That one stuffed. Second one partially blocked. And the Tigers are going to 
Come out of here with this one. Great defense by Holstein. Yeah, came across. Nobody. Uh, good job by Holstein getting the block. Holstein with some just presence in the paint. Woodrow, though, leads by three here at the half. 30 to 27 our score. We're going to take a timeout. We'll try to gather some stats, and we'll be back with that after this. Here on Video Productions, brought to you by Little General. Great prices, convenient places. Hi there, I'm Jake, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's new Grilled Spicy Deluxe is that grilled chicken that we all know and love with the grilled marks, it's super juicy. The heat, the cheese, the multi-grain brioche bun, the flavor is just out of this world. Hey, I'm Amber, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Spicy Deluxe is the chicken. This is not your traditional spicy chicken sandwich. You get the grilled flavor, seasoning, spices, married all together to this perfect sandwich. It's literally like fireworks in your mouth. Northside, where everybody rides. Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC, Route 19 in Somersville on Northside Drive. Brand new professional grade GMCs for less, including ready for work heavy duties. Chevy Silverados, Equinox, and more at Northside. A new generation of luxury is here. Experience the new Buick at Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC, Route 19 in Somersville. Browse our enormous inventory now at northsidewv.net. FCA has incredible impact on coaches, the teams, the, the players, and the community as well. It's changed our lives. It's changed mine as a husband, as a father, and as a coach. It, it does make an impact on our lives. FCA has become a full circle in our lives. People from all different kinds of backgrounds. If all we're going to be is a, a coach that happens to be a Christian, I think it's more important to be a Christian that happens to be a coach. Little General Stores knows West Virginia, but what some may not know is what LG is doing in your communities. And I'm here to tell you how Little General, with the strength of their 100 plus stores, is helping to enrich lives and empower families in West Virginia. Like the Norma May Huggins Cancer Research Endowment Fund, which is fighting to cure cancer every day right here in West Virginia. Locally owned and operated, LG has always been there and always will be. Little General Stores, committed to West Virginians. Boom! Northside, where everybody rides. Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC, Route 19 in Somersville on Northside Drive. Brand new professional grade GMCs for less, including ready for work heavy duties. Chevy Silverados, Equinox, and more at Northside. A new generation of luxury is here. Experience the new Buick at Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC, Route 19 in Somersville. Browse our enormous inventory now at northsidewv.net. Your first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. Tire Pros. Hassle-free. Guaranteed. Little General Stores knows West Virginia. But what some may not know is what LG is doing in your communities. And I'm here to tell you how Little General, with the strength of their 100 plus stores, is helping to enrich lives and empower families in West Virginia. Like the Norma May Huggins Cancer Research Endowment Fund, which is fighting to cure cancer every day right here in West Virginia. Locally owned and operated, LG has always been there and always will be. Little General Stores, committed to West Virginians. Boom! Hey, my name is Joseph, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A nuggets is they're so good. Every single time you bite into that nugget, and it's just so crispy, but somehow juicy, that perfect balance. And then if you just grab a couple sauces, you're going to be in heaven. Hey, I'm Chambry, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Jace Colucci, a Glenville State signee at wide receiver, is doing a pretty good job at basketball here tonight as well as he leads all scores with 12 and the half. The Woodrow Wilson Flying Eagles 30, Shady Spring Tigers 27. Zach Helton and two-time NAIA National Coach of the Year, Bob Bolin, hanging out here courtside 
And you would think in a normal year this place would be erupt with just some of the great play we've seen in the first half. It's a little tame, but the play has spoke for itself. Oh, it has. Both teams have played crisp basketball. Uh, I mean, COVID has taken a lot of the excitement away from the game, but not for the players. They're playing hard. They're playing like this arena is full. And uh, Coach Caldwell, Glenville, may, maybe should call Colucci and see if he wants to be a two-sport athlete because he shot the lights out of it with four threes and 12 points. And, you know, really with Shady trying to help on Big Ben inside, Colucci was the difference there in the first half. And Colucci, the transfer from Westside, you know the uh, fans from Wyoming County are just watching this, shaking their head, wishing – what could have been, but Colucci leads all scores, as we mentioned, with 12, four threes in the half. Rest of the scoring for Woodrow Wilson here at the half. Dwayne Richardson with eight. Keenan Cook with five. Ben Gillum, surprisingly, surprising leash with just four. It held him in check with a lot of great defense inside, mostly by Holstein, and then a free throw by Maddox McMillan, wrapping up the 30 points in the first half. For the Tigers of Shady Spring, a little more spread out scoring-wise. Todd Duncan with three threes, leading the way with nine. Six from Braden Chapman, and he's been held in check a little bit due to the, the foul trouble, which he has two and at halftime. His brother Cole with five. Also Cameron Manns with five. And Jaden Holstein doing most of his work on the defensive end, but he has chipped in two points at the half. Foul trouble, no one in white for Beckley in foul trouble with Colucci. Wolf and Slay, the only three with a personal foul at halftime. Braden Chapman, as we mentioned, with two personals. Sam Jordan with two personals, the only Tigers in foul trouble here at the half. So, uh, really, for a first game, a rivalry game, and a game uh, in front of, you know, maybe a 200 fans, it's been a very clean contest, all things considered. Oh, it has. And, uh, I mean, both teams defensively. Beckley is keying on the Chapman Twins and they've held them in check pretty well. And Shady is keying on Big Ben inside, and they've held him in check. So both in, when you're speaking about defense, and we have to mention Dave Barksdale is not with the Woodrow coaching staff right now. Uh, he's having some health issues in his family, and he's decided to take some time off to take care of them. And, and anybody that knows Dave Barksdale, they know his love for basketball which is tremendous, but his love for his family is more than basketball. Well, we wish and, him the best. Oh, yeah. and we know they're probably tuned in yeah. out there somewhere in, in the Beckley, greater Beckley region. Uh, interesting schedule for both these teams coming up. Woodrow hosting Lincoln on the ninth with the JV contest before. And Shady right into it with uh, region and section rival Pikeview on the ninth as well. So the schedule doesn't get any easier for either one of these squads, but what a test here tonight between these two in uh, what was last year, the one that took the lid off the drink, essentially with Shady winning for the first time in 33 tries. Interesting setup this year in West Virginia basketball, not only with the start here in early March when we would all be in Charleston getting ready for the tournament. Shady, AAA this year. Woodrow, 4 it. First time in West Virginia high school basketball history there will be a 4A. So that's going to be a little interesting. There will be four state champions this year for the first time in boys basketball and girls basketball for that matter. How do you think – a lot of people argue, does it spread it too thin? Does it take anything away from the title? What do you think, Coach? Well, I'm not a fan right now, but as far as the 4A is concerned, it's the same teams that were in 3A last year right. minus Ripley and add Winfield and one other. And so it's the same thing. Yeah. They're just calling it 4A. Now, where the difference is, is the 3A and the 2A kind of split up. And the only private school in the state left in single A is Greater Beckley. So all the private schools had to move up. You know, Wheeling Central was as good as anybody, and they moved up to AAA. So I guess more teams to Charleston. We'll just have to see. I'm not going to be negative about it. I kind of right. like the old way, but – when you get older, you don't like change. No, so, you don't like change. Yeah, so I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, and let's see how it works. But uh, I'll tell you what, I bet you neither one of these teams, Zach, know who their next opponent is. Uh, that, they've been getting ready for each other. That's right. They're not even play. looking at the schedule. Oh, and a three-point game. And when we come back this second half, 
I would expect Cole Chapman to have a Cole and Braden Chapman both to have a better second half scoring. Now they see how the defense is playing them, and I bet you Beckley figures out a way to get Big Ben involved with all the double teams and triple teams and quadruple teams. And Shady, I, they have to make an adjustment on Colucci. He's shooting the ball too well. It'll be Tiger basketball to start the second half coming from left to right in this half. And one thing we'll touch on this before we get back to play is Shady will avoid Bluefield this year as Bluefield's still in 2A. Yep. So that's a good sign as the Tigers bring it up to start the third quarter. Down three. There's Cole Chapman. Opening up the third quarter with a three a little too strong. Holstein in the corner trying to keep it in play and they'll say off. Holstein's foot. That's a big foot, so it's hard to <laughs> keep that ball in play when it kicks off that thing. A little um, backcourt pressure by the Tigers here. Mind, yeah, okay, here's, Shady, here's their adjustment. Looks like they're going to try to get Woodrow in a faster tempo game to try to create some turn. There's the double team. Let's see, Richardson did a good job of getting out of it. Now, how Shady, now they're going to... Now, what's hard is to try to get out of that pressure and now still collapse on Big Ben, and they weren't able to do it. Now, that's a difficult thing. When you're trying to extend your pressure and say, we want to press them, but then when we get back to half, we want to go back and control Ben, and, you know, it's a hard thing to do. And the interesting thing there, they had Holstein out on the perimeter guarding Colucci. Yeah, he, that's just how they ended up on the press, and he can move his feet good enough to guard anybody out here. So Gillen with his fifth point of the evening. Who's that front end? Who was that foul on? They called that on Holstein, his second. Okay. First team foul on the Tigers. And a quick sub for Shady as Coach I Olson. I bet you Woodrow's into their pressure defense right here, too. Here they go. No, Woodrow in that traditional Beckley half court man to man that they're known for. And here's Shady still setting that pick for Chapman. Uh, I don't think they may go to not setting that pick for him, just try to clear the floor for him. Duncan looking Good for some pass. open space, but nice look inside the Holstein. Too strong with it. Put back, though. Yeah. Braden Chapman, again, right spot, right well, time. And Beckley did a great job, help defense, but Chapman's man was the one that helped, so it left him open for the rebound. Still three-point ball game, 32-29. Three ball, too strong that time, but Gillum yeah. strong-arming everyone for the rebound and the putback. Yeah, when the help came across, that left Gillum open for a rebound. He can shoot it, too. Cameron Mans. Mans from deep. Mans splashing it home. Gillum, though, 4-0 run for him to start the third. He's almost, well, he has doubled his point out point here early. Big Millen wants in on the action, left that one a little short. Gillum, yeah. though, good hustle again. Well, that's two straight offensive rebounds for Gillum, and that was Coach Kidd's thing there. If they can, there's Holstein blocking that one with his elbow. Got a piece yeah. of that one, too. Yeah, Holstein just well, being a presence inside. Here comes Chapman. When, when they when Shady collapses in there like that, Beckley, unless it's Big Ben, just needs to kick it out for the open shot. Chapman would probably want to bring that one back out and settle the offense. Pull up jumper. That one oh. a little short. Oh, goodness. Cook yeah. couldn't handle it. Into the front court, here comes Cole. Drops off to his brother. Too strong with that one. Boy, those two usually just shoot the lights out of the basket. and yeah, This arm is a little hard to get used to. Richardson with a nice floater. Good tempo again to start this half. Both teams up and down the court. No one really settling into their offense quite yet here in the first two and change in this third quarter. Two-point ball game, though. Oh, my goodness. Here comes a three from Duncan. Almost yeah. banked it home. Yeah, but inside, is... nice rebound by... Cook. And the Duncan can get that one from that deep at any time during the possession. So, all right, then a gamble on that end. Look at Colucci. Colucci. Okay, that's three offensive rebounds this half for Big Ben. And if Shady doesn't figure out, I mean, that's three offensive rebounds in less than three minutes. And they have to keep Ben off the board to have a chance. Great job by Ben. Again, that was Coach Kidd's key to win the game. Chapman State. with that sweet left handed yeah. runner for the second time tonight. A 6-0 run by, or a six-point run by Chapman here to start the quarter. He scored all the points for Beckley out of the half. Eagles clinging to that two-point advantage. Yeah, I kind of thought both coaches would figure out how to get their stars back into the game, and Beckley's done it with Big Ben, and Shady's done it with Cole Chapman. 
Ben got rid of one defender, finds Colucci open, and that one was automatic. Unless they can't leave him. That's five threes, 15 points. Colucci knocking them down. No wide receiver gloves needed tonight for Colucci. The five-point advantage, Beckley three ball, left a little short that time by Chapman, and the Eagles clear it. Dwayne with a nice spin in the lane, finds McMillan through the trees, and a tie-up will keep it on that end. Harold Ball, really think uh, the ball pick is not really being effective for Shady up at the top. Really think they would be better served just to spread the floor for Cole Chapman and, and let him go to work. Sam Jordan back in for the Tigers. And as, as we saw Lucci on the replay, knocking them down from everywhere. Cook and the chap. Excuse me, that was Gillum, and Gillum couldn't get that one to go. One of the rare misses here in the third quarter for Gillum. Tigers down. Five, looking for three of those back this time. Braden couldn't connect. And Gillum one more time, hustling down, getting the board. Richardson in through the trees. And he got hacked on the face, and he'll head the line for two. Richardson, Richardson again getting penetration into the lane and able to draw the foul. That is Duncan's second. And Richardson to the line for two, dropping in the first. This is a six point advantage, 40 34, with under four to go here in the third. The work inside by Braden to clear it on the miss. Shady chasing six. Hey there, now that possession, there was no pick for Braden Chapman and had the floor a little bit more spread, and he was able to get by the defender and draw the foul. And to bring a more yeah. Maxwell back in. Yeah, and for Shea, for Woodrow Ben getting a breather. 3.30, guess how long his breather will be? About as short as you can imagine. <laughs> He'll be right back in the game. Colucci called for the foul, his second. Shady down six. Chapman going to work. Float with the right hand, the back of the iron. Good work inside by Holstein on the board to keep the possession alive. Nelson Braden line for two. Yeah, Holstein's done a good job tonight of being able to get in there and keep balls alive. Hasn't really got the one rebound and been able to finish with it, but he's kept the ball alive, got his teammates open, doing a really good job of crashing the boards. They'll get the first to roll. 40-35, 3-21 here in the third. It's been back and forth throughout. I think the largest lead for either team has been about six or seven. Chapman gets both to go. He's got 10 now on the night. Yeah, we haven't seen Shady go to that run and jump and try to uh, go all out for turnovers. That one in the lane off the mark. Another offensive rebound by Woodrow. That's... That's four this quarter, and those are huge. That's four extra possessions, and uh, I mean, that was Coach Kidd saying we got to beat them on the boards, and Coach Olson said we can't get beat on the boards. Richardson, a smart play over there, knew he didn't have anywhere to go with it. Keep the possession line, threw it off the Tiger. Richardson looking inside, trying to get rid of Holstein. And a five-second call. Holstein was in his pocket that whole possession. Yeah, you know, that's a, one of the very few mistakes by Richardson this evening. Uh, I mean, it, it, uh, before today, we knew the Chapmans both can play. They're good. We knew Big Ben is a force inside. What we've learned so far is Wayne Richardson is much improved this year, playing tremendous. And we learned Colucci can shoot the ball and Todd Duncan can shoot it from anywhere. Ben Gillum barely with a breather. Bodies collide inside, no call. Gillum scoops up the basketball as the Tigers come up empty again. Richardson on the attack and a whistle on the floor. Dwayne Richardson, when he has a full head of speed, I don't know if anyone on this floor can catch him. Oh, yeah, he pushes the ball really fast. Uh, very impressed by him today. That is Cole's first personal of the evening third on the Tigers here in the second half. 
McMillan will trigger from underneath. We'll take care of some moisture. Hey, shout out to our sponsor, Little General. Great prices, convenient places. We're going to hit about three on the way home. I'll probably fill up at one, <laughs> grab a drink at another, yeah, and find uh, uh, something to eat at the third. Yeah, Little General so great in our state of supporting local athletics. Little General supports everything. Gillum at McMillan with a one-two game here. They'll bang, bring it back up top now. K.K. Slay and Richardson. McMillan open. That went a little strong, though. Braden had a shot at it and had it knocked out of his hands by Gillum. Tigers yeah. will bring it up. Yeah, Shady did a great job. Woodrow was trying to get the ball into Big Ben, and Maddox McMillan took the correct shot. And had a little 12-footer, just didn't knock it down. Cole away from a pick. Drops off, three ball, in route, rattles home for Sammy Jordan. I tell you, Cameron Manns has been shooting that basketball tonight. Manns with what his third three of the evening. Yes, that was Manns, not Jordan. I apologize. I think you had a Michael flashback there. <laughs> there you go. I saw one. Gallucci. Can't get that one to go. And and Ben made the right play. Had Gallucci wide open, hot. Uh, hit him with, you know, they collapse on Ben. That's deep. Man's again. Yeah. And yeah, short on that one. Yeah. What the young generation calls that, the heat check? He yeah. had the heat check there. A uh, couple of subs here. Looks like uh, Landon Wolf and Keenan Cook back in for the Eagles. You look for Landon Wolf. I know he just stepped in the game. But you look with Shady playing this collapsing defense on Big Ben. If Landon, Wood, Landon Wolf gets a good look at one, even though he's cold and just come in the game, he's, he's capable of knocking them down. Let's see if he gets one here. Wolf building a den in the left corner now. He's going to go to the right corner. Oh, boy, did you see how low Maddox McMillan set on him? Good oh. work inside. That, he's going to earn a trip to the free throw line like that all, tight, all day. McMillan was posted up under the basket. And when somebody gets you that deep, you have to get in front of him. Look at McMillan. Boy, he was posted up deep. Did a good job using the head fake and drawing the foul. Bad news for the Tigers. That's Holstein's third. McMillan for two with a little under 90 seconds to go in the quarter, and he left that one short. So Holstein will be replaced by Sammy Jordan. So Giving up a couple of inches in size there. May not see Holstein for a few minutes. Millen second. Found the legs yeah. on that one. Hits his second free throw of the evening. Yeah, I don't know how long they can afford to have Holstein out. Uh, Two point. Oh, great backdoor cut. Great pass. For Beautiful the lead. Offense Got it. Yeah, that's great offense there. And Todd Duncan. Knocks it down. I don't know what Beckley's going to do without Holstein in the game with Big Ben. They're just going to have to, uh-oh, there he is. Gallucci. Oh, short oh, that good time. Good job by Mans. Hey, Shady may go for one shot here with Holstein out. There he goes. He's calling spread. But I don't think they're going to hold it for the last shot. Braden on the attack. Pull up. 15-footer. Too strong. Uh-oh, he twisted his ankle. And mm. Braden is down as he landed awkwardly. Gillum there to assist, but I, he may want to just mm. lay on that one for a minute. The left ankle mm. landed awkwardly. Hopefully that's not as too serious. Right, he did a good stop on the shot. Ah, boy, it looked yeah, like he was hurting when he, when he went up. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Shady cannot afford to have that young man out. Uh, I mean, he's an all-state candidate, and that, that was odd. He, he didn't land on anybody's foot, and he was hurt before he landed. That's really odd there. So the Tigers up one, but in a little bit of trouble with two starters on the bench. One injured, one in foul trouble. Here comes Wolf for three. You called it, but that one a little off the mark. Rebound yeah. pulled nicely by Manns yeah. right here. The Tigers oh. definitely got a hold for oh, yeah, the last got shot. Holstein out and Chapman over there, and he looks like... That doesn't look good. Well, it may be cramping. And that would be a good sign for Shady if he was cramping. Todd Duncan for oh, downtown Beckley, a little off the mark. And Gillum will play dodgeball with the cheerleaders on the heave from the backcourt as we end the third. A one-point ball game as we head to the fourth and final quarter. Grab your favorite beverage, 
from Little General and get back here. This one's going to be a barn burner down the stretch on Video Productions here from the Armory in Beckley. Ever wonder where the capital A and Chick-fil-A came from? It started with grade A top quality chicken. But we believed everything, not just the food, should be grade A. A is for all the little things we do to bring you our best every day. The A and Chick-fil-A means a loving, caring team. We're all very supportive of each other. It goes beyond being a team. It's like a family, you know? I definitely can't imagine working anywhere but Chick-fil-A ever, especially right now. The first set of wheels didn't come with complications, or strings, or hassles. It can be that way again. Tire Pros. Hassle-free. Guaranteed. 42-41 our score. The Tigers with a one-point advantage as we head to the fourth. The trouble is Holstein in foul trouble. Braden dealing with a little bit of an ankle injury at the moment. You know, I'm hoping it's cramps over there. It looks like they're stretching him. Give that boy a banana and let him chug some 16 ounces of water. Holstein coming right back in. Next dead ball. Uh, boy, Shady could be really conservative with uh, Braden Chapman out of the game. Stretch him out. Play four quarters if you have to. On the attack oh, is Duncan. Nice move. Duncan goes by everybody. That's his first two of the night. He's got 14, and the Tigers up three. Boy, he's really played well this evening. Beckley's been running this little motion play where they set a cross pick and a down pick, and here comes Cook off the top. Boy, a nice, obvious. Nice move inside. Almost yeah. with the put back there yeah. was Cook. Yeah, Shady has no answers on the board with Holstein over there on the bench. Was that Gillum with the put back? I think so. Well, there were three of them up around there. That's how Beckley's just dominating the boards. We'll give it to Gillum at the moment. He's got 12. Tigers clinging to that one-point advantage. Nice take by Manns, a pull-up from the baseline. A little short, though, and Gillum again with another rebound. Cook passing up on that one, lost it. Gets it back to Richardson. Richardson has some nifty handles. The left hand takes it inside. What a take. And the ball's tipped around loosely into the hands of Maxwell for the Tigers. The Shady want a timeout here to kind of regroup. So Ronnie Olsen with the timeout. And here's the putback moments ago. We'll see which Paul got on it. It was not Gillum, it was McMillan. McMillan. So McMillan's first field goal of the evening. So full timeout, we'll take it. 6.35 here in the fourth. Tigers lead by one here on Video Productions. General Stores knows West Virginia. But what some may not know is what LG is doing in your communities. And I'm here to tell you how Little General, with the strength of their 100 plus stores, is helping to enrich lives and empower families in West Virginia. Like the Norma May Huggins Cancer Research Endowment Fund, which is fighting to cure cancer every day right here in West Virginia. Locally owned and operated, LG has always been there and always will be. Little General Stores, committed to West Virginians. Boom! Hey, my name is Joseph, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A nuggets is they're so good. Every single time you bite into that nugget, and it's just so crispy but somehow juicy, that perfect balance. And then if you just grab a couple sauces, you're going to be in heaven. Hey, I'm Chambry, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. One point Tiger advantage is Braden Chapman back to the scores table. We'll see him momentarily out of the timeout. His brother Cole going to work with the handle. Duncan getting way out on the perimeter. He's still in range. Trying to get rid of Wolf. Take by Todd. Oh, nice Wise. pass. Backdoor feed. Oh, they call a walk on Holstein. Oh, nice pass by Duncan. Holstein maybe should have exploded on the catch. Uh, Close one there, Beckley with a chance to take the lead. Back in, yeah. Braden Chapman though. 44, 43, 
Six-minute mark here in the fourth. Now, Holstein has three fouls. He can't worry about fouling out. No, he cannot. I mean, he get two more. You know, he, he can't give up an easy basket just because he has a foul. Gillum ben. from downtown. They give him the three. Yeah, great job by Gillum. Holstein playing off of him, protecting the basket. There's Cole Chapman. In transition, yeah. Cole splashes right back at him. He's not going to be quiet for the night. Ten for Cole. Oh, we got a good one going here. One-point game, back and forth. What a way to start the year. Look at that pass inside. Gillum going to work in the post. Back out the wall of extra pass to Richardson. Good ball movement uh -oh. by Beckley. We got the mismatch in there, but great job by Shea. Beckley had the mismatch, but Cole Chapman fronted Ben. Todd Duncan got the backside help, and that was great job on the defensive end. There was big Ben with those feet set knocking down the three. Man's giving, giving some love as he comes out. Sam Jordan back in for the Tigers. They're going to Ben, letting him eat, and he goes strong to the hoop. He'll hit the line for two. Oh, and nice. Sam was just a tad tardy coming oh, to the spot. Nice spin move by Ben Gillum. Now that's a pro spin move. You feel the defender. Nice spin. Attack the basket. And Jordan just a split second late. Yeah, Gillum, that was a grown man take. Oh, yeah. He's, that. he's a player. Third foul on Jordan. So he and Holstein both with three apiece. Gillum splashing home both with 15 after just putting up four in the first half. Oh, we got lead change after lead change. Watch Cole Chapman again. Colt to the rack, and Gillum says no, sir. Yeah, that's a good play by, by Chapman taking it. If they're – now, Gillum, if you watch that, Gillum played real far off that ball pick. If they would get the angle a little better on that ball pick, Cole Chapman would have another good shot at a three-pointer. Duncan in the gym. Pops that one a little strong. Good clear by Cook and the Eagles. Five minutes to go in this one. Wolf for three. That one a little Look strong. Look at Holstein. Doing a good job. Yeah. Holstein's going to get bailed out there. Probably could have let it play on, and Gillen picks up his first. Yeah, it's only the third team foul. You know, Beckers hasn't been in any foul trouble all night. All right, right here, I'd bring the ball up the right side with Cole Chapman. Have a pick going back to the left. He likes to shoot it off that left-hand dribble. He just hit a three. Here he comes over here on this right side, going back to his left hand. There he goes. Into the paint, finger roll. And if you think about that, there's Cole Chapman without the ball pick, which I alluded to earlier, uh, really hard to stay in front of. They called that one on Richardson, his first. And that one was just almost fell for him. Yeah, both of these coaches doing a great job of making adjustments. Cole gets the first. Cole, 79% from the line last year. <laughs> these two kids are sophomores. And they're seasoned veterans. I mean, they played in big games, went 21-3 and three last year. Uh, they played against LeBron James' sons in summer leagues. They, they just, they've been around. They've been around the block. Colucci back in. We'll keep an eye on him as he handles the deep right wing. Four and a half to go. Tigers up one. McMillan wants to pull up for three. That one a little strong. But into uh, the hands of Richmond, who will float one with the right hand short. And on the yeah. rebound, we'll go to the other one. That was Beckley's seventh offensive rebound of the half. And Shady was very lucky to get out of that, not giving up points. Richmond went from no fouls to two fairly quickly. Yeah, big possession here. Either Cole Chapman's going to be going to his left with a ball pick or they're going to spread the floor out for Cole Chapman. Here comes the ball pick. Cole off Holstein. Quickly to his brother, back to Cole. Oh, that's, well, that's a pretty easy offensive oh, foul call correct there. Call. Uh, McMillan did a good job, and McMillan's been on that football field. You can tell that didn't affect him. Good play by McMillan, got his feet set, took it right in the chest, easy call for the official. Yeah, One you, mentioned point early, game. you mentioned earlier McMillan, a quarterback, but that time he took it with ease. Yeah. It's a lot easier to take the charge than he is taking a quarterback sack. We, <laughs> I think we've got an issue with uh, – Maybe uh, 
Yeah, they, they, they had to clear it up. But yeah, it was Chapman, his second. The Eagles will be in the bonus on the next foul. It's Which been is, a really foul-free game. Both teams have played well. Lead changes, fourth quarter. If this place was packed, it would be so loud in We'd here. be sweating. Oh, I tell you, it's just a good game, good side. Oh, Beckley going to a different set here. Man's back in for Jordan. The top. What a take, uh, and, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Yeah, and the officials consistent on this end, consistent on that end. Uh, That'll be the first on Keenan Cook. So a charge for a charge, under four to go. Tigers clinging to that one-point lead. Cole in the front court. There he's going back to the left. Off the Holstein pick, left the three short that time. Oh, great play Offensive by Braden Offensive board outside Chapman. to Todd. Duncan can't corral that one, but Braden there to clean it up inside. He'll bring it back up top yeah. to settle. Shady with a third. Third offensive possession on this end of the court. Boy, that's big for them. Well, weave action here up top. If they score here this and go on to win this game, that, that'll be the possession that people will talk about. Cole attacks. Now backs it back up to his brother. Todd in the range, but Coach Olsen saw something he didn't like and will call a 30-second timeout to uh, corral the troops. 49-48-3. 11 left here in the fourth and coach I we may want to settle in I don't we may be here a little extra oh that'd be great I mean just you know it, it's it's so terrible that COVID has cheated the people out yeah. of watching what a well-played game this has been I mean these kids haven't played in a game in a year and for both of these teams to come out and execute offensively and play good solid defense uh, you know, Colucci's hit some big threes for Beckley to keep them right there where they are. And then the second half, Cole Chapman's kind of showed his leadership, got people open shots, hit some big shots. And you know, it, it'll come down to the stars here at the end of the game. Woodrow and, won and Todd Duncan, please don't let me forget him, yeah. the way he shot the ball for Shady. Woodrow won the JV game 54-48. Shady looking for the split here tonight. Three and see change. What they come out of a set play out of the timeout. They got Duncan at the top. Uh. Think they're going to look for something for Duncan here. Uh, uh, they may just be really running the clock here. Got to watch a turnover when they get too close. Now, Cole Chapman's where you want the ball in his hands. There's the spread. Cole Todd and Braden all working it back and forth here. Yeah. Under three to go. Yeah, trying to run some clock. But, oh, that's what happened. Yeah, right there. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, you, Beckley's defense oh, stayed yeah. true to it and yeah. let Shady. Oh, and Shady held impatient. the ball for a long time. When you go to that spread, you got to go that spread to score. Too much diagonal there. They need to go downhill. Now, Beckley with the chance to take the lead. And Beckley will probably go to that motion set they've been running. Two there and it goes. There go. goes the cutter. And here comes Ben setting down, three of them around him. Great job by Todd Duncan. Yeah, Duncan read that with ease. Cole to the rack. Won't get that one to go. Holstein, though, crashing. And they say Gillum stepped out. Gillum frustrated with that call. So he's telling Gillum that he was out of bounds and the first one to touch it when he came in. We got time to see that. Yeah, he's stepping out of bounds. Yeah. Boy, that's close there. Very close. Yes. Dunking the trigger underneath. He's looking for Holstein, but a five-second uh, call. That was very quick. Okay. I think the other referee had Ronnie Olsen getting a timeout before the five-second call. And, and they're going to give him the timeout. Yeah. Regardless, that was a very quick five seconds. Yeah. Full timeout. We'll take it with them. Yeah. A little over two minutes remaining. Tigers clinging to that one-point advantage here on Video Productions. The first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again.
Tire Pros. Hassle free, guaranteed. Northside, where everybody rides. Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC, Route 19 in Summersville on Northside Drive. Brand new professional grade GMCs for less, including ready for work heavy duties. Chevy Silverado's Equinox. Oh, oh. Great Alabama's play by Shady and a tremendous defensive player play by Beckley to get the block shot. Beckley takes over with two minutes. Colucci with the big block. He's got the basketball in his hands. Under two to go. Eagles with the ball trailing one. There's Colucci. Colucci for the lead. Short rebound. Shady Spring. Ooh, Shady's been really conservative. A minute 45 is too long to hold it. If they go to this stall game, they got to get downhill. They're going to get another turnover. Both teams in the oh. bonus. Todd Duncan for three. Oh. Ice water in his veins. The Todd father with a big three. Inside Richardson. Oh, Answers Richardson. And one. Wow. Dwayne Here we Richardson. go. Yeah. Here we Todd go. Todd Duncan with the bomb. Dwayne Richardson answers with the little Euro step and kiss off the glass. Richardson, one, two, draws the contact, puts it in. What an athletic play. Third foul on Cole. Both teams in the bonus. Big, big. If he misses this, watch Beckley crashing the boards. There it is. Well, oh, Gill oh. had a shot at it. Holstein with it, and out of bounds it goes. I'll tell no. you. No. Uh, shady ball. Shady will take it, yeah. It's yeah, you got to be careful. Beckley will crash those offensive boards. Shady with a two-point lead. Full court pressure by the Flying Eagles. Yeah, Shady wants to keep that ball in Cole Chapman's hands as much as possible. Shady will be in the bonus on the next foul by Woodrow. Fun matchup here with Cole and Richardson, and Richardson's going to get it on the bump. And that'll send Cole to the line for a one and one. Dwayne Richardson's third personal on the evening. Cole Chapman, 79% from the line last year. He's hit a couple here, and Woodrow's going to talk about it before the free throws. 113 left in the fourth. 52 50 free throws coming up after the break on Video Productions. Northside, where everybody rides. Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC, Route 19 in Summersville on Northside Drive. Brand new professional grade GMCs for less, including ready for work heavy duties. Chevy Silverado's Equinox and more at Northside. A new generation of luxury is here. Experience the new Buick at Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC, Route 19 in Summersville. Browse our enormous inventory now at northsidewv.net. Little General Stores knows West Virginia, but what some may not know is what LG is doing in your communities. And I'm here to tell you how Little General, with the strength of their 100 plus stores, is helping to enrich lives and empower families in West Virginia. Like the Norma May Huggins Cancer Research Endowment Fund, which is fighting to cure cancer every day right here in West Virginia. Locally owned and operated, LG has always been there and always will be. Little General Stores, committed to West Virginians. Boom! 113 remaining big. here in the fourth. Two big, well, one and one coming up. Oh, big free throws here. Hits these two. He can make it a four possession game. I mean, a two possession game. Oh, Firm is the miss. first. Here Gillum clears Beckley. it. Richardson quickly in the front court, down two. Wants to get it right here. Gets oh. it and one. Dwayne Richardson is pumped. Boy, a nice little Euro step. I don't know how Holstein didn't block that. Watch Holstein coming from behind here. Richardson. Boy, Richardson moved that ball at the last second to the right. Dwayne Richardson has been crunch time for the Flying Eagles. Holstein is fourth. Richardson for the lead. Off the mark. We're tied at 52. Ball loose. Tigers with a minute to go. Tied at 52. <laughs> Tie game. I know Shady would like to go for the last shot, but that's awful hard to do. Going side to side, taking a chance on a turnover. 
Out on the perimeter. The Eagles work the defense. Braden to the rack for the lead off oh. the front of the rim. Gillum will Ooh, hold on to it. Rolled out. Beckley will go for the final shot. Ron Kia gets a timeout. Oh, 35.2 in the fourth. Where did that Chapman with the 52 drive? all our score. Come on back. Let's see. Go to that replay here. We'll Look see Braden Chapman on the drive. Nice body control. Just, just rolls out. Big Ben with the rebound. Now, now let's see what's going on here. Tie let's, game. Let's reset things for you. 35.2 on the clock. We're knotted up at 52. Both teams in the one and one. Possession arrow belongs to Beckley. Beckley has two timeouts in their pocket. Shady with just one. What's the strategy, coach? Well, Beckley is going to go for the last shot. Now, Shady should go to some gambling defense to really try to cause a turnover because 35 seconds is a long time to hold the ball. Now, if it gets down around 15, Shady will not gamble at that point. They'll try to go. Look for Beckley to spread the floor late in the clock for Richardson if they don't get Ben the ball on the low post. Richardson's been the man here the last three minutes of the game. How's your feelings on fouling just to get the ball back? Uh, I don't think anybody's going to do that tied up. I'm not saying it's not. If if you knew somebody had a 30% free throw. Now, Shady, looks like they're not going to gamble. They're, are they going to let Richardson hold the ball to the end? They may, uh, they like may they trust are. their defense here. Yeah, I, I think 32 seconds They're going to spread it out, time. too. Look at this. Oh, yeah. No, they're going to go for one. I thought Shady would get out there and make them uh, – try to force a turnover while Beckley was holding the ball. They got two timeouts here. They may run this down to about 12 or 10 and call another. Let's see. Yeah, it's Richardson goes. going to work There's with Richardson 15. One and one. Over to Colucci. Off to Cook. And now with 9.2, Coach Kidd will use one of his final two timeouts. Well, nine seconds left here. I'll just tell you, it's going to be one of two things. It's going to be Richardson driving to the basket. And if they come off the shooters, they'll look for that. Or it's going to be Ben Gillum down low, trying to take it up strong and draw the foul or finish at the buzzer. If I was Richardson, number one in my mind would be the hoop. If someone collapsing on me, I would find Gillum. That's what they're going to be looking for. But where Shady has collapsed on Gillum all night, you watch out for Colucci. He's been hot all night. But I, I think it's uh, Richardson the last three minutes has been the man driving to the hole. They'll spread it for him, try to get in there. And then if the help comes up from Shady, they'll try to drop that ball into Big Ben. So here it comes down to, you know, 52, 52. Shady had a big miss free throw and a layup to rim out. Or, you know, they would have a two-point lead right now. Holstein, Mans. Along with Jordan, I believe. And the law firm of Chapman and Chapman on the floor defensively for the Tigers. Here it goes. Here comes Richardson. Seven, six, is. into the lane. Oh. Kick out. Three, McMillan for the win. That one rattles off. Tip back. No, ball loose, and we're in overtime. Well, just like we called it. A couple did the opportunities. Right thing. McMillan was the wild card there. He got the look he wanted, but couldn't yeah. get it to fall. Yeah, and Beckley spread the floor for Richardson. He drove. The help came off of McMillan. He had a good look at a three. Just didn't knock it down. We're going to OT. Free basketball here on Video Productions. Come on back. Ever wonder where the capital A and Chick-fil-A came from? It started with grade A, top quality chicken. But we believed everything, not just the food, should be grade A. A is for all the little things we do to bring you our best every day. The A and Chick-fil-A means a loving, caring team. We're all very supportive of each other. It goes beyond being a team. It's like a family, you know? I definitely can't imagine working anywhere but Chick-fil-A ever, especially right now. Your first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. Tire Pros. Hassle-free. Guaranteed. First overtime here in Beckley. 
52 all as the Flying mm -hmm. Eagles have the ball first with the possession error. Yeah, no jump ball. First time in the history of West Virginia, an overtime without a jump ball. Tigers come up big defensively there with a steal by Manns. First possession of overtime. A drive and kick out to Manns. Baseline jumper rattles out. Gillum, strong arms the board inside. Richardson, coast to coast. Lost his footing, throws it up. Almost got it to go. Gillum on the putback, got hit in the head. Wanted to call, won't get it. So did Coach Kidd across the way. No foul call. It will stay with the Flying Eagles nonetheless. They may let them play here in this extra yeah, period. Beckley's been really good on these out of bounds plays tonight. Let's see what they do here. Oh, Ben just setting down low, wanting it down low. Gillum held in check. No points in the fourth. He goes to work here. First overtime. Loses it as he hits the deck. Tigers come up again defensively. Ooh. Here to start overtime. Up ahead to Braden. Braden pulling up. Fading oh, away. Back. Left it short. Well, Gillum again had, with another rebound. Well, Beckley's had two possessions and two turnovers in overtime, but it hasn't cost them. Still 52 all under three to go. Colucci rattles it oh. home. Oh. The Jeez. biggest shot of the night. Colucci Jeez. for three. Colucci with 18 leading the way for everybody. Beckley up three, 245 and counting. On the attack, Todd lost it as he stripped, wanted a foul call, keep the basketball. There's a nice dish here. Colucci just steps out, and the defender getting late. Played that COVID defense there, six feet away, <laughs> and you can't leave Colucci like that. If Colucci's open on the right wing, something's wrong. The inbound yeah. play to Cole Chapman. He'll bring it back up top. Two and a half to go. Yeah, they got away from that weave, and to give it to Cole Chapman going downhill. Good play by Chapman. Mans. To Mans. Mans. <laughs> Woo! Knocks it down. Great play, Cole Chapman. Cameron Manns coming on here late. He's got 14, and we're tied at 55. Manns and Colucci battling. Richardson into the lane. Scoop shot won't go. Gillum bellies him out. Finds Colucci for the lead. That one's strong. Gillum and McMillan battle for the rebound, uh, and Gillum gets the and one. Right there's the difference in the game right now is Beckley on the offensive boards. And on Holstein, that's his fifth. His night is done. Holstein finishes up with two points. A tremendous night defensively, but the fouls couldn't keep him on the floor. Yeah, only two points, but he's played well. He's played really well. Been able, I mean, he's changed shots defensively. He's battled maybe the best big man in the state down low. And he's, you know, he played a great game even though he scored two points. Big free throw here for Gillum. Gillum with 17. Too strong with that one. Rebound. Chased down by Todd Duncan. Here come the Tigers down two with two to uh -oh, go. Oh, boy, they didn't Todd find for three Duncan. in the lead. Oh! Bank shot open. The bank is open in Beckley, West Virginia at 9 o'clock on a Friday night. And Todd deposits. Tigers back up one. This has been fun, huh? Oh, what a game. Richardson for Colucci in the lead. That one too strong. Rebound out on the perimeter. It'll go out. Last touched by the Eagles. A minute Todd Duncan 30. with 20. And you go here, Zach. A minute 30 is too long to hold it. Shady has to keep playing. Richardson's going to force the issue as he'll get in the pocket of Cole in the backcourt. Tigers up one, 90 seconds to go. Cole attacks, then brings it back up top to Todd. Duncan and Cole back and forth. And Coach Olsen wants to talk about it as Sam Jordan and Olsen will get on the same page here. 119 <laughs> left in the first overtime with the Tigers leading one. Let's reset things for you, although it's a full timeout. Both teams in the one. Well, actually, the next foul on... The Tigers will send Woodrow to the two-shot bonus. The possession arrow belongs to the Tigers, and so does the basketball. And with one free timeout in overtime, that gives Shady one left. And Woodrow with two in their pocket here in overtime. A little over a minute. You can't hold it that long with the lead. What's your strategy? Well, Shady wants to keep the ball in Cole Chapman's hands as long as possible. Now, with Holstein out of the game, you know, Shady would like to run as much time as possible. 
but it, you're risking a turnover there. So I, I look for Shady to really work the clock, but if they get the driving lane to the basket, they have to take it. And they had a cru crucial turnover with a minute 25 in regulation under these same circumstances. So, you know, they'll have to do that. And we were just notified that Ben Gillum has 25 rebounds for Beckley. Wow. Wow, 25 rebounds. But here, here's your thing. Now, Beckley will try to really pressure this inbounds pass. Hard place to take it in from because the backcourt is about 12 feet away. So that's going to be a long pass if you throw it to the backcourt. And there's Duncan way back. They like to get Duncan to the free throw line, but I don't look for Beckley to foul. They've been playing solid defense oh, all night. Okay, there, foul it. on Richardson. Well, Cole Chapman went to the free throw line in regulation and missed it, and he's too good of a player to miss it twice. We went on and on in the pregame pre -game about the Chapman brothers and Gillum and Todd Duncan, the dark horse, with 20 leading all scores at the moment. 112 left yeah. here in overtime. Two big free throws coming up for Cole Chapman. No, one and one. Excuse me. I apologize. Cole uh, will make it to. Uh, he's, little. Been, he's been in these situations many times. Stepped to the line with ice water in his veins. Now, this is a big one. He gets a three-point lead. Uh, that may decide how Shady plays defense on this possession. Two-possession game as Chapman buries both with 14 on the night. Got to help off of everybody except Colucci. Colucci in the wing. That's his spot up to McMillan. Cook now works it in with a minute to go. Gillum going to work and yeah, a smart foul. foul on the floor. Yeah, a smart foul. I mean, without Holstein in there, there's not a shot blocker. And they're going to make Ben earn it from the lane, uh, from the foul line. And even if he hits two, Shady will still have a one point lead if, again, Shady has to keep Beckley off the boards here on the second free throw. Three point ball game. Gillum short with the first. And you mentioned moments ago, 25 rebounds. Just a grown man effort by Gillum tonight. Leaves them both short, though, is running out of gas. You can't quite blame them, but now, down the stretch, now, that's going to hurt. hold this ball as long as possible. They want to shoot free throws from here on out with a three-point lead. 40 like seconds to go. It looks like they're holding. They'll go at Duncan. Oh, he called timeout before. Okay. And now Ronnie Olsen's telling the referee that they're wrapping their arms around Cole uh, Chapman holding him. And now 30-second timeout. Now the risk of that, now you have to inbound the ball. So Beckley is going to face guard here and really go for the five-second violation or the steal on the inbounds play. So the Tigers are out of timeouts now. 40.4 on the clock. 60 to 57 our score here in the first overtime with the Tigers up three. Uh, Jaden Holstein, big defender here in this one, already fouling out. So I think the Tigers want to keep it on this end of the floor, as oh. you mentioned. Oh, Shady will spread that floor. And the ball, that they want the ball to stay in the two Chapman brother or Todd Duncan's hand. I'm sure Coach Olsen told him if you get in any trouble, how many timeouts does Shady have left? Shady is now out of timeouts. They're out of timeouts, so you know they got to really be careful. And right here, here comes Beckley face guarding. You know, hard to get the ball in bounds. That's that's the negative of calling the timeout, having to get it in bounds. They get it into Duncan. Duncan will handle out on the perimeter. He'll be trapped, oh. and Richardson almost came up with a steal. So Richardson did a good job of leaving his man. Uh, free basketball coming our way. Now Cole Chapman hit the free throws last time. Now Duncan here, and if he hits these two, he can make it a two-possession game. Richardson's afternoon is over with 13 points. Boy, he's played well. Uh, he has been the catalyst on both ends out on the perimeter for Beckley. Beckley brings Wolf, another three-point shooter in. And it looks like uh, Keenan Cook will go to the point. But and Shady will not be pressing full court. You trade, you trade the handle for the shooting of Wolf with the foul out. Huge free throws here. Duncan missed them. Missed the front Beckley end. He still has a chance. Into the front court, Keenan Cook to Gillum. Down three of the Eagles with the basketball. 
and Shady's been helping all evening. Now they don't want to help. They want to defend against the three, and that's just a hard thing to do. May want to foul here. Ten seconds and a foul inside. Officials will confer on it. They're going to call. They're going to call an offensive foul on Gillum. Yeah, I, I was watching the ball out here at the top. I did not they see called what an happened offensive there. foul on Gillum, and that'll give it back to the Tigers. They're fighting inside. Ah, what an interesting know. call that is. Not saying it's wrong, yep. not saying it's right. I hear Woodrow's going to hold, do everything possible to try to get a five-second call here. Both teams in the double bonus, so it'll take two free throws and a whistle Ooh. here. We'll walk to the other end, and no time off the clock, so not a bad decision there. Uh, McMillan just ran through the pick there. McMillan's uh, smart first. Smart play, really. And Duncan had just missed a free throw. Uh, Duncan and, and McMillan. the line voicing their concerns. But Todd Duncan with the game on his back right here, 10.7 left. What's Beckley got to have timeout wise? I think Beckley has one left, I think. And if he hits this, if he hits one of these, Beckley will save, okay. Now Beckley's gonna get the ball, go straight to the basket. And if Shady helps out at all, they'll look for the three. If not, even in a five point game, you take the quick two and play the foul game. Duncan buries both, that might do it. They'll let the ball roll to save time. Cook into the front court, needs a three for a chance. That one off the mark. Put back oh McMillan and a quick timeout. Oh, and they called a foul. A foul on the tip, the worst thing possible for Shady. They have cameramans on a foul. Oh my goodness, now Beckley can miss this free throw. Oh, that's the worst possible thing that could happen for Shady Spring. The Man. clock is stopped. Now, if he makes the free throw, Beckley will get into an immediate foul. If he misses, you've got to watch Ben coming in. Missed Left it. Left it short. Rebound Tigers and a quick foul. Yeah, and Sam Jordan going to the line, and he hasn't been there all evening. And it's a two-shot foul now. He needs one to ice it. Now caught on Cook his second. So, Sam Jordan, probably the biggest free throws of his sophomore yeah. year. And Shady, well, Coach Olson had the, okay. Now the Coach first. Olson had his team over there. He may foul at half court here. And with a, if, if Jordan misses this, he may foul somebody on the dribble at half court to, to stop him from shooting a three. But Shady looks like they're matching up. And Jordan ices it. Yeah, the second ices one. It. He's telling him to get away. The only thing now is a foul that could hurt Shady. Cook from so. just inside half court, and that'll end it. Shady Spring holds on here in overtime in what was a tremendous high school basketball game to start the 2021 campaign. And after going 0-42 against the Woodrow Wilson Flying Eagles, the Shady Spring Tigers are in a two-game winning streak. It was a tremendous basketball game. Both teams played well. It's the first game of the season. Huge win for Shady's program. I mean, anytime you beat a Beckley team, you know there's 17 banners, 16 banners hanging in this building. And that's a great win for the Shady Spring Tigers. What a fun one. We'll take a breath and we'll recap after the break right here on Video Productions. Northside, where everybody rides. Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC, Route 19 in Summersville on Northside Drive. Brand new professional grade GMCs for less, including ready for work heavy duties. Chevy Silverados, Equinox, and more at Northside. A new generation of luxury is here. Experience the new Buick at Northside Chevrolet Buick GMC, Route 19 in Summersville. Browse our enormous inventory now at northsidewv.net. Your first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. Tire Pros. 
hassle-free, guaranteed. Little General Stores knows West Virginia, but what some may not know is what LG is doing in your communities. And I'm here to tell you how Little General, with the strength of their 100 plus stores, is helping to enrich lives and empower families in West Virginia. Like the Norma May Huggins Cancer Research Endowment Fund, which is fighting to cure cancer every day right here in West Virginia. Locally owned and operated, LG has always been there and always will be. Little General Stores, committed to West Virginians. Boom! Hey, my name is Joseph, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A nuggets is they're so good. Every single time you bite into that nugget, and it's just so crispy but somehow juicy, that perfect balance. And then if you just grab a couple sauces, you're going to be in heaven. Hey, I'm Chambray, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. What a way to start the 2021 campaign, Coach. The Beckley, Raleigh County Convention Center, as fans uh, file out here over time, the Shady Spring Tigers. Now 1-0, Woodrow Wilson 0-1, 63-59 in overtime, and what an effort by two great teams. We're looking at the schedule now. You wish you had a rematch, but what do you take from this game one of the year? Well, uh, Beckley can't get too down because Shady's a good basketball team. And Shady Stream played tremendous. I mean, you, everybody knows the Chapman Twins can play. They're tremendous ball players. But then to have Todd Duncan step up with 22 big points and Cameron Manns hit big threes at crunch time, played like a champ. And, uh, you know, those two stepped up for Shady. Shady is going to be a threat in the AAA division. There is no doubt about it. Uh, they played well. And then on the side for Beckley, Colucci showed he can step out and make three-pointers. They know Big Ben is tough inside, and Cook will, Cook will come around and McMillan. But the wild card there was Richardson. He played a tremendous game. So it was a great hard-fought game, and the Shady Spring Tigers, you know, that's just huge for, huge for their program to get a win over the Beckley Flying Eagles. Shady Spring, now 2-42 and 42 all time <laughs> against the Woodrow Wilson Flying Eagles. Scoring-wise, first for Woodrow Wilson, three in double figures. Jace Colucci, the Glenville State football signee, doing damage on the court tonight with 18 leading the way for Beckley. Ben Gillum, what a night. 17 points, 25 at least rebounds we had last count for what uh, is probably a front runner for State Player of the Year if he can keep this pace up. Dwayne Richardson from the point before he found out with 13 solid points. And the other two chipping in, Maddox McMillan with six, Keenan Cook with five for Woodrow. For Shaney Spring, they were led on the night by Todd Duncan. 22 points, 13 of them coming in the second half. He had three, four, five, six, at least six three-pointers on the night. 14 a point piece from Cole Chapman, Cameron Manns. Braden Chapman dealt with a little bit of an ankle injury in the first half, came back, end up with 10. Jaden Holstein did such a good job on the defensive end, ended up with only two points on the night before fouling out. And quite possibly maybe the biggest point of the night from Sam Jordan at the free throw line with one point. And that was big to make it a four point ball game to wrap this thing up, 63-59. Shady Spring moves on to host Pikeview next week. Woodrow will host Lincoln on the ninth, the same night. Shady hosts Pikeview. And, yeah, like you said moments ago, neither t- uh, Woodrow doesn't have anything to be down upon. It was a tremendous effort by everyone. And just at the end of the night, one more, two more shots fell for Shady that didn't fall for Woodrow. Well, Zach, for your first game with video Productions. Robbie Mouse, our producer, doing a tremendous job. Andrew Bolin on the camera up there doing a tremendous job. But I don't see how you could get a better game for your first game right. with VP, an overtime game. Uh, this kicks us off for a thrilling basketball season. Great to have you on board and great for video productions to be back in people's living room. Yeah, we're just excited to be back. I'm excited to be with you guys. Hopefully you'll keep me around because – if they're all like this, we're going to have a nice little spring. 
Uh, shout out to Robbie and Andrew, definitely doing tremendous work here tonight, keeping us uh, looking as good as possible from uh, up above and right next to us. Uh, Woodrow won the JV game, so a little shady Woodrow split here tonight. And shout out to Little General, great prices, convenient places all over West Virginia. One more time, Shady 1 0 after holding on in overtime, 63 59 over cross county rival Woodrow Wilson. Until next time, you guys be safe out there and love one another. Good night, everybody. <laughs>